everybody, Norm over here, and uh, we're always honored to have some of my old friends, some of the great players of all time. This is Carl Verheyen, and Carl has played with a million great people. He's a great solo artist, and we were just talking about he was on the road one time with uh, playing, uh, and Ray Charles and, and Mavis Staples were yeah, yeah. singing. Yeah, it was a, it was a television show, and. Um, Got to play I'll Take You There with, with Mavis, and then I got to play Georgia and maybe America of the Beautiful with Ray Charles, but I had put my guitar down on the stage and walked back to the dressing room, and at that time, they were wheeling Ray out in a wheelchair, because it's easier to do that than walk him out, yeah, right, because yeah. of his blindness. So they're wheeling, and as he's, as he's going by me, he goes, you're looking good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> It That's was cool. Great. What an honor, you know. Somewhere oh, yeah. in the other room, this is kind of crazy, is, you know, I had a friend of mine who was doing like a rework of an old Ray Charles album. Mm -hmm. His name was Steve Hoffman. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got Ray to sign a guitar, a Strat pick guard. Oh, neat. For me. And, uh, and you know, it's funny because, you know, he just handed Ray the pick guard, didn't say what it was or anything. Could you sign on this? And Ray. Just did it for Figured him, it huh? out. Wow. No, but he knew that it was a, a Fender pick guard. Yeah. You know, so. That's cool. Yeah. Ray knows, yeah. yeah. I remember, um, you know, what you learn about Ray Charles is, mm. is you learn that he, he took some of the gospel music that was people heard on Sunday morning and he reworked it into some of his old tunes. Yeah. And one of my favorites is. Uh, Another one of my yeah. favorites. Ray, man. Love can't get it up. I feel like I just went to church, man. That was <laughs> really great. That was fantastic. Cool, man. I need the Wang bar. Yeah, we, I, we got it here. I got one for you. So, meantime, we should talk. What have you been doing lately? What is the, like, the latest? Well, uh, I came out with a record uh, in the middle of last year, and then I toured uh, the. I just did a West Coast tour due to, um, you know, not many venues being open. But I got I in and out of Europe at the exact right time. It was mm. perfect. I got over to Europe on, uh, I think it was October 3rd, and played through November 7th, and everything was opening up. The whole, si the whole country of Denmark was wide open with no masks, no restrictions. Germany, pretty much. Um, Austria, wide open. But the very last week, we were heading into Austria. We are going to do Vienna, 
uh, Salzburg, a town called Hard, and right, one right on the Italian border called Brixen. And we did those four shows, drove to Zurich the next day, flew home, and two days later they closed down Austria. So, yeah, yeah. dodged a bullet. Well, well you know, it just goes to show you, you know, we don't know what to expect no, anymore. I, know. I mean, you know, no, I know, we used to be able to kind of predict some stuff up front and all yeah, that, yeah. you know. It's not happening. And my boy Michael over here, you know, works for us. He's got a new uh, smooth jazz record. That I do. You, you embrace the smooth. I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Paul Brown. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, Paul. sure. Yeah. So he's a producer. Yeah, great. Coming out March 25th. So Excellent. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. All that right. Sounds amazing. Oh, what are we going to play with the bar? Just oh, I just. Uh, I, this is pretty stiff. I got a whole way I set up my guitars to where the oh, yeah, string yeah, goes yeah. up a minor third. Uh, by the way, you have a. Back in like wow. 1989 for three grand. <laughs> we'll buy it back for 100 if you we'll want. Give it. <laughs> we have a special going on right now. Buy back. But you know, I just want to say, um, you know, this guy is just oh. one of the most amazing guitar players I know, oh, and he's like a staple in LA. I mean, everybody knows Carl, oh, and uh, you know, he's been in every magazine and all that kind yeah. of stuff you know and uh and a lot of times you're seen with that uh seafoam green 61 yeah. by the way wow. which is, uh, that's a neat yeah. little guitar it's a real rock guitar yeah. that guitar i don't know why but it really rocks like that's cool like down in this range a lot of strats can get mushy you know, distortion. And, uh, if you find one that's even in the neck position is it's, it's going to get a, a nice beam tone it kind of point loves to see yeah, that yeah. guitar yeah, so. So you have any new, a new record coming yeah, out? Yeah, it's called Sundial, and it came out a little bit, you know, maybe eight months ago or something, and it's doing really well, and uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it, but I've also got six new tunes to record, so cool. I'm looking great. forward to getting out there and yeah, getting back in the, the studio and yeah. getting going cool. on those, so. Great. Anything yeah. you can play from Sundial, or, you know, just to Let's give see. these guys a taste, because we get a lot of people who watch, and yeah. it's, a, it's always a treat, you know. Let's see. Sounds real jazzy, Great. but then it totally rocks after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It starts well, off well, pretty. Those are nice voicings and all that, as, as always, sure. super tasteful. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, that Man, song's it, about my wife who, who absolutely uh, has no minute hand in her life. <laughs> just no minute hand. <laughs> she's, uh, she's just the greatest woman of all time, but if we say we're leaving at nine, you better say 8.30 because we'll leave at 9.15. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying no concept of time. No concept uh, of time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, there you go. Uh, the way well, you use your right hand is all is phenomenal, too. Oh, really? Notice when you're playing your rhythm, you're coming up toward the neck, and then when you go back to that riff, you're moving back oh, to get a little I'm jangle. not even aware of that. It's just subconscious, <laughs> man. Wow. I yeah, spent really the entire uh, COVID period learning how to use a thumb pick. Oh yeah. Because oh, wow. I do these festivals all over the world with guys like Tommy Emanuel and Joe Robinson and these guys. And I look at the thumb pick and I go, that's another lifetime. I'll do that, you know, when I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> and then I see these guys pull out a, a, a flat pick and oh, yeah. shred. So I go, all right, I got to learn that too. So. Some great Tommy. videos of Tommy playing Telecasters, he's I think, good, in the yeah. 80s. And he's yeah. Tommy, Tommy may be, I, I don't know, I, a lot of people think he's the best of the best. I mean, like he'll play something that's so intricate, and then 
going to play another tune, and it's really interesting. He's singing over it. Oh, he's and the it's best. Like man. Not even, yeah. it's, it looks like he's not even paying attention. I don't know a better <laughs> acoustic player. I've never yeah. met him personally, but oh, I know yeah, a lot of people him. that know yeah. him real well. He showed me a great I, lick. I'll I show you. I saw him play in Melbourne. One yeah. Oh, you got to see him. He's, he's so great live. He showed me this lick to where you play the seventh chord, right? You with me? Mm -hmm. Take that finger off, take that finger off, and you can go. Lawrence Struber is a good buddy. Oh, of mine. Great you player. know Lawrence. Yeah, love And he's a wonderful player. And he does stuff that sounds like it's physically impossible. I know. <laughs> His and dad Tommy can does it and sings at the same time. <laughs> and you go, what the hell? Yeah. It's pretty crazy, yeah. man. So, so uh, anyway. But I, I can't thank you enough right. uh, thank you, for Norm. coming in, buddy. It's coolest, always good man. to see you. And I know you're getting some cool speakers. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Can we talk about that? Or yeah, the, that? the Danley folks are sending me out some speakers to try uh, in my little home studio. So, uh, All I can say is I can't thank you enough. Right. It's always wonderful to see you, Carl. And you know, you guys, you got to check out Carver Hines' new record, Sundial. And when Carl's playing, uh, yeah, I play all around. It's always a great show. You guys, a fantastic talent. And the speakers again. What are they? Yeah, Danley speakers. We're Danley check speakers. Them out. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's thank you, uh, Norm. Promote it off. Thank all right. you, my brother. All right. Good to see you. Boom.